With precious little time to bask in historic Lambo, we drove the RV 26 hours straight through the night to game number five. Overlooked by many for the more tourist-friendly Miami, it's a high-energy community that moves to its own beat. The 904 is the largest landmass of any city in the United States, with a cultural landscape all over the map. There's a love it or leave it mentality, and the people here like it that way. Welcome to Jacksonville. Hey, we're John and Mike, brothers who are die-hard football fans on a mission to do the unthinkable. Tailgate 32 pro football games in 17 weeks, all in an RV. Each team's city has its own style and traditions, and we're gonna try them all. We'll dine, drive, and discover what it takes to be the ultimate football tailgate. This is Tailgate 32. Trashed by the media in the wake of the 2005 Super Bowl, the city still holds a strong identity as one of the NFL's newest cities. First off is an early morning meetup with Curtis, aka Jackson DeVille, for a day in the life of the NFL's most daring mascot. Curtis, I am late, guys. How are you doing? Mike, good. Good to meet you. Nobody but Curtis does this big or this often, because he's always pushing us. It's like, yeah. all right, well, you know, what if we do this? Can we do that? Can you lift me up and make me fly? The zip line brings me out just past uh, midfield, kind of over towards the other stands, and yeah. then I start coming back. Oh, out. you come back, all yeah. right. I got it. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't hit the other leg. And we watch Hugh Jackman do that on Oprah, and we don't want to do that. <laughs> You know, it started out when I was 20, 22 years old when I got here. I had no idea what the NFL was about, being a mascot in the NFL was, and luckily the team didn't either, so that's why I got away with so much, because they were like, yeah, I was like, can I do this skit? And they're like, sure. For some reason, other teams, uh, their owners <laughs> don't find me nearly as humorous as our fans do. Is there a whole mascot network? Like, oh, yeah. All know yeah, it's, it's a... Uh, Old boys club. The corny way of saying it is the fur eternity. <laughs> I walk out and I can get the whole crowd to, yep. to scream just by doing this and go quiet by doing that. You, it wouldn't work in Pittsburgh and Cleveland and stuff like that. Those, it's, it's different. You know, here we all learned it at the same time, and they so respond to it they so respond to it. And you know, I moved down here and fell in love with this city for the same reason a lot of people do is. We don't really care if somebody else doesn't like it. If you don't like boating and the river and the intercoastal and the beaches, that's fine. Go somewhere else. Like we don't, we're not here to try and make you come like our city. Right. Um, we know what we have here. We know how special this place is. The fans have begun to show up in force and everyone is ready to tailgate. We met up with several of the top local crews and found a slightly different take on the pregame party. We're like the Sugar Ray Leonard of the tailgate. Pound for pound, uh, we're as good as anybody, but we don't have the, uh, the numbers. Next stop, we're gonna go meet with the Teal Street Hooligans, right? It's a younger group, uh, supposed, to, supposed to bring the party. I'm pretty excited. I, you know, is boat gating just tailgating on a boat, or there's got to be more? Maybe you catch fish. Maybe you, maybe you wrestle alligators. Fifteen count tiger shrimp. Grow my own peppers. We're gonna go ahead and spike these shrimp up with a little bit of 1901 <laughs> Jag style. So we got a set of four tickets here that were given to us by the Jacksonville Jaguars organization. They were really good to us and rolled out the red carpet here for us. Uh, it turns out only Mike and I from our crew were able to make the game, so we ran a Twitter contest. I'm about to go give it to the winners right now. 
This is Jan Dela Cruz. Uh, is this your brother Jeff? Yeah. Brother, Bro brother Jeff? Here, here are your two tickets. I'm really excited to have you guys join us for the game. I gotta tell you guys, like, I have a legitimate emotional problem with the Jaguars. Like, my week is dependent upon how they do on Sundays. Like, you're too young for that. I know. <laughs> it's bad. No, like, I get nervous. I can't eat before a game, and then afterwards, like, I feel all the pain. But I, mean, I ride and die with this team. It's bleeding like through my veins. <laughs> The rain may have poured and the team may have lost, but we left impressed by this budding fan base. Now we're off to the deep south as we rock and roll our way to Atlanta, Georgia. Probably says Tuesday I'll find the gator, so wanna come to the gator? <laughs> sure, why the hell not? Not really anywhere to go on it, but of course everybody wants to climb the gator. It looks so climbable. <laughs> it definitely could support our weight. Yeah, he's a strong fella. Now you're just gonna make us look like rule breakers. Yes. Aren't you? <laughs> no. 